Hi, I'm Joe Mullins for Industrial Strength Bluegrass, Southwestern Ohio's musical legacy. I'm in downtown Cincinnati on Ray Street. WLW Radio is a huge part of the Industrial Strength Bluegrass story. It became the nation's station going on the air in the 1920s. By the 1930s and 40s, it really helped spread hillbilly music, as it was called back then. Matter of fact, WLW was the home of the famous Renfro Valley Barn Dance. It brought a lot of early bluegrass performers, roots music performers, to Cincinnati. And before Nashville, Tennessee was Music City, USA, there was quite a recording industry in Cincinnati, Ohio. This building is where Bucky Herzog created a recording studio. He was an engineer for WLW Radio. Known as the Cradle of the Stars, LW had a lot of fantastic voices and musicians, including the Delmore Brothers, Grandpa Jones, and Merle Travis. They were known as the Gospel Quartet, the Browns Ferry Four. It also is a place where Bucky Herzog saw an opportunity to, re to record some of the great country entertainers. And Herzog Studios became a destination for great artists by the late 1940s. Hank Williams recorded his first big hit, I, The Love Sick Blues, in this building on the second floor studio. In 1949, Lester Flatt and Earl Scruggs and the Foggy Mountain Boys were new stars on Mercury Records. And they came to Cincinnati twice in 49 during recording sessions. On our Industrial Strength Bluegrass album, the first song that Flatt and Scruggs recorded in Cincinnati was Baby Blue Eyes. Vince Gill sings it on the album. In December of 1949, Flatt and Scruggs made history at Herzog Recording Studio here in downtown Cincinnati when Earl laid the thumb to the five and recorded the Foggy Mountain Breakdown. Of course, we know it was nearly two decades later when it became the theme song for the famous motion picture of Bonnie and Clyde. But Flatt and Scruggs, two trips to Cincinnati, produced a huge chunk of their catalog. The old Mercury LP has a lot of those cuts on it. Of course, Foggy Mountain Breakdown and those early hits for Flat and Scruggs on Mercury were on those 78 RPMs, like this one. Just a couple of months before Lester and Earl were here to cut the Foggy Mountain Breakdown, Hank Williams recorded I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry. Another spectacular piece of American music made in Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm Joe Mullins for Industrial Strength Bluegrass. Look online at industrialstrengthbluegrass.com. I'm dreaming of you.